My name is Michael Lodge. I study physics here at the University of Central Florida. I specialize in surface science using ultra high resolution microscopy. So I first got interested in physics um, in 2007 when I took a physics class with a particularly interesting physics teacher. He really was down to earth and he always tried to make physics really exciting for me and uh, he did a really great job. When I was taking classes as an undergraduate, they offer classes on physics theory and on doing experiments. I really enjoyed doing experiments rather than doing theory. I liked uh, kind of getting in the laboratory and getting my hands dirty and making stuff work. There's, there's one major obstacle that I face uh, in experimental physics work, and that is this wheelchair. Uh, because it limits my mobility, and it also limits what I can do in and around a laboratory. Because disabled people are so underrepresented in experimental physics, it can be hard to find employment. <laughs> so that's the, that's the biggest challenge for me right now. Fortunately, I was able to work with some great people here at the University of Central Florida and at Monash University in Australia who were sympathetic to my position. Uh, and I owe a big part of that to, to Masa. Masa and I took several steps to make the laboratory more accessible. The, the, the biggest issue, I think, was the layout of the floor space. So we had to figure out ways to rearrange the furniture in the room and how to place the tools in a way that you can access you know, all sides of those instruments um, so that I could use them. And uh, it actually made it a lot easier for other people to use them as well. The other way that we made the lab more accessible is really to make me able to access more of the lab. And we did that um, by purchasing an electric wheelchair that has a, a seat that can raise up about 11 inches um, so that I can be a little bit taller in the laboratory. So the university is actually allowing me to take this wheelchair with me um, when I leave here and I can take it to future jobs um, and it'll basically become my own wheelchair. My most proudest accomplishment is uh, when I was afforded the opportunity to go to Australia uh, two years ago. I was one of 199 that were picked uh, for this program and one of 12 that went to Australia. I got to work with a professor over there for three months and we were able to get enough data to actually publish a paper, uh, which we were very proud of. And it actually afforded me future employment opportunities. The postdoc that I worked with when I was over there actually became a professor in Singapore later. Uh, so he's a professor there now and he offered me a job, which I'm gonna pursue uh, this year. It's exciting to be on the frontier of research for these materials that may find their way into your cell phones or something else in the future.